Professor Arya Vardi, shalom, and welcome to Culture Buzz. You are well known all throughout Israel and the world as one of uh, the leading figures in uh, uh, putting Israel on the map of uh, world piano uh, music playing. Um, so we are very happy to have you with us at Culture Buzz. We, we have this special occasion of the Chinese-Israel uh, program of uh, the music uh, with 24 hands, and we have just heard wonderful master classes with Israeli and Chinese students. Can you say some more about the uniqueness of this project and your experience in it? There are six uh, Chinese pianists, wonderful people. They all came with their teacher, Professor Dan, and uh, are invited uh, six Israeli pianists. And they get together, they get master classes, each one on a separate basis. And then we thought, why not play together four hands? So there are six teams, each team, one Israeli and one Chinese. The interpreter, Ian Shu, is a former Chinese gentleman and he's a fantastic conductor. So we thought, why not have conducting classes? So we have master classes by Maestro Peraya. Uh, uh, there are conducting classes, there are forehand classes. And yesterday evening, they even had a Darbuka evening, and each one was banging the drums for happiness. They were here on the 31st of December, so they celebrated also a wonderful party. Each one cooked a, din a dinner, a meal, and uh, yeah, Chinese, Israeli, uh, hummus, and uh, yeah. Wow, this is a historic event for us here uh, in Israel with the Chinese. And would you say just a word, because I saw a very young pianist today who came to uh, play as one of the pianists. Yeah, uh, the average age is about 17, 18, but there is uh, one little girl, Serena, <coughs> who is only eight years old, but she can play the piano, she played uh, uh, Bach, Italian concerto, a difficult demanding sonata by Mozart. She's an accomplished pianist and she got lessons uh, by everybody. And I must say that to communicate with her is amazing. You just look into her eyes and see that this little girl, she can understand anything and also play. Can you tell us more about this experience of bringing cultures together through music that you do not only in this time but also uh, in other opportunities in Israel and outside of Israel, how does it go when pianists meet from, from different places? Well, music is the most beautiful thing in our life. You know, you, you think of Schubert, and Schubert could be so desperate and hopeless, and yet deep inside you see that life is wonderful. You can see it through his music, because he tells you how marvelous it is just to be alive. But music is not only music. Music is more than music. Music is communication. And when you see this project, the Chinese-Israeli project, then you understand that music is for communication. You give a lesson to the Chinese student, you look deep into the eyes, as I said, to the eyes of this little girl and the other. And you see the warmth and understanding, and we share all the love and passion for the same Bach, for the same Mozart, for the same Schubert. This is incredible. You know the background of the Chinese people and Chinese music and so on. And you ask yourself, how come we all share the love and passion for the same great composers, no matter Jewish or Chinese? This is mystery. It's a big mystery of music, and even bigger, the mystery of life. When you uh, see Israeli musicians in the world of piano, pianists, uh, meet with the, uh, the world of music and piano outside of Israel, what would you say about the level of our musicians, the, the education they get, their ability to uh, uh, perform outside Israel? Um, you know, if you ask yourself, uh, who are the top ten architects in the world, or top ten physicians, or novelists, uh, not everybody will include an Israeli among this top ten. But if you ask anybody in the world, who are the top ten musicians in the world, 
some Israeli will be included, which means that we have nothing to be ashamed of. We certainly, with all modesty, we can be uh, proud of our uh, product. Uh, music is some heritage, but it's also some commitment for us, so we have to keep it. We have to know that it's a commitment, not only Israeli, uh, but uh, Jewish. I was discussing it with my colleague, uh, Professor Dan, and I said to him, look, we are so proud of our history, but our history is only 3,000 years. You have a history of 5,000 years, so it's China. even heavier to slap it on your shoulders, the Chinese history. But on the other hand, the history of piano playing, in that we are older than you. So how to compensate these two things? How to compare the Chinese with Israelis? Why uh, recently they win more international prizes than us? Uh, on the other hand, we have more uh, big names of, of, of the past. Uh, it's a, a lot to think of. Um, how did you personally set out on this career that brought you to uh, where you are in terms of the uh, the bringing Israel to the world stage, being a chairman of the judges of the international music competition of Rubinstein, a piano competition. How did it begin? Did you start by playing the piano as a child? Oh yeah, we all started to play the piano as a child. Uh, but now we are focusing on China, so let me say that I was privileged to play a lot in China. I I think I played in China in more than 15 different locations, not only Beijing, Shanghai, Guangzhou and the main ones, but even in smaller places. And when you say smaller places in China, you can refer also to Chongqing, which is the largest city in the world. So I think I played in most of the cities of more than 10 million in China, and I know the country from north to south, uh, from Dalian, what is more in the north, uh, Shenyang, uh, to the south, to uh, uh, Shenzhen and Guangzhou, and uh, also Xiamen on the coast. I know China, I know Chinese public, and I also know uh, <coughs> Chinese young pianists. I gave most of them, uh, not most of them in China, it's not most of them, but the more famous ones, master classes, and some of them were also my personal students. So I'm very much familiar with uh, Chinese uh, piano playing and Chinese uh, young generation, younger generation of, of, of pianists. Also the public in China is something outstanding. Uh, in Israel, if you go to the concert, it's always the older generation. In China, it's the younger generation, young parents, sometimes coming with uh, young children even to the concert. It's a wonderful situation. So when you say you have chi Chinese students, do you mean that you live there for periods of time or do you use new media to uh, teach? Um, I teach also in Europe. I teach at the Hochschule in Hannover and there I have some, some Chinese, Chinese students who stayed there, uh, some of them even seven, eight, nine years and some of them were very famous and are still very famous, like uh, Yun Li Li, uh, uh, Chen Sa, uh, some of the biggest uh, stars of China. My last question is not connected to the Chinese thing, but you are also an educator through television in your program Intermezzo with Arik. And, uh, uh, and um, uh, I just overheard in the recording that you uh, gave for your next, next program, a special story about the uh, center here in Jerusalem, the music center, uh, and, and Rubinstein, the big Arthur Rubinstein. Will you tell us this story just as an ending? Well, some 30 years ago, Rubinstein came here for a master class, and it was filmed by the famous filmmaker Francois Reichenbach. And uh, the filming was in the same <coughs> music center. So every time I enter the center, I can still see the spirit of Rubinstein in there. He was uh, completely blind and almost deaf, yet he heard everything, he knew everything, and even played marvelously. He demonstrated 
and when he just sat at the piano and started to play, heaven uh, opened. Uh, this is another uh, uh, miracle of music, how people uh, much older than 90 can still play, can still memorize everything, can still show so much uh, inspiration and communication. Professor Arya Valdi, thank you so much for the time you've given us and the wonderful things you have to say. Uh, we thank you a lot.